What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to recalibrate your phase inducers. It's easier than you think, but moving on with the Eagle Moss Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise D build. We are beginning issue number two. This covers four separate assemblies. So let's take a quick look through the magazine. As always, we have our parts list, we have our instrucciones, all that good stuff. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. And here we have separation anxiety. So this is talking about uh, making the Enterprise D uh, separate into two components, the saucer and the drive section. And some concept art here. I like this idea, this is a weird idea. Just having like a piece of the saucer separate as opposed to the whole thing. That's interesting, okay, okay. But just some early concept art there for the saucer separating. And apparently, if you see this right there, apparently for the original motion picture, they wanted the saucer to separate from that enterprise as well. Interesting. Interesting. That's an idea they had all, that, all the way back then. Hmm. Hmm. Again, just some more, some sketches there. All that good stuff. That's kind of the uh, the bridge of the dry section, the battle bridge. Oh, here you go, and this is showing some nice scale there between the original Enterprise and the Enterprise D. You kind of see how that's supposed to work out. But yeah, some sketches and whatnot, concept art, all that good stuff. Hands on decks. Again, just designing. The ship, the warp core, all that cool stuff. Battle stations, holodeck. Again, yeah, that's some nice concept right there. That's how they figure stuff out. Ship building, and then building the uh, the models that they used for the show. All that, all the wiring they had to do. Yeesh. We're going to be doing about that much wiring for this thing as well. So art will imitate life, and life will imitate art. Again, cool behind-the-scenes photos there of the team actually making the big models here of the ship. That's really cool. All this behind-the-scenes stuff. Very intriguing to me. Very intriguing. And there you go. So there you have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Or should I say, let's engage. That's right. Let's do it. Because there ain't nothing to it but to engage it. Let's go. <laughs> so let's just remove this. This did have a backing on it, but the backing just the backing just rolling around the box. The backing they use on these just does not stay on. But anyway, take it off the side. We don't need that no more. And let's open up our instrucciones. Okay, instrucciones. Okay. So now, what are we doing here? We are on stage three. We are going to be uh, building us a uh, deflector, main deflector dish. Cool. Okay, so. What are we doing here? So we have a uh, little battery box here. So we're gonna be working with this. And what are we doing here? I'm just gonna take out the accoutrement. I believe this goes to that. There's a screws. Some screws. Put this off to the side. And open this up. Because we're gonna need this uh, this nut in here and the screw. And are we? No, what are we using this one for? Um, oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. I had to look ahead in the instructions there. Okay, I see. That's where we're going. Okay, so give me the nut. Give me, give me that. Give me that. I just need that. Give me that. Thank you. I just need that for now. And it seems like this is going in here, like that. 
and then this is getting this right here that goes looks like like that there we go and this gets oh do i have more screws am i missing screws or are they mislabeled because it says I need BM screws for that, and I do not have any BM screws in this. I have BP screws, which we're using for something else. Or am I just using the BM screws and they just mislabeled them? Okay, so we're using yeah, we're using we're using BP screws because that yeah, because this, this is this is this is not metal, it's plastic, so duh, okay. So it's just mislabeled. Okay. Okay. Again, that, that took me way longer to figure it out than it should have, but it's okay. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a Monday night. It's at this point of day where the brain just stops wanting to work. But it's all right. It's all right. So, okay, this should go right in here. Come down a little low way up. There we go. Single thoughts in place. Yep, there we go. We got our bite. Okay. It confused me, and then I realized, oh wait, it shouldn't be confusing me, because I know exactly how this works. There we go. We started, and then... Whiskey! Oh, Whiskey. Uh, well, it's good to know these instructions have a lot of mistakes in them already. <laughs> that doesn't fill me with an abundance of confidence here, but okay. We'll just open bread. This doesn't happen too often. Okay, so we got that in there. Cool, cool. So now this takes uh, this takes batteries. So we're gonna put batteries in here. So we're taking three three AAA's, A's, which I have. So this is getting like that, like that, and like that, and then this gets. You lid, come here lid, come here lid, and that just sits right in there, like that, and this gets, I believe, this silver screw. It's a silver screw! It's gonna hold it all in. What are we doing here? Okay, it's all little tabs here that go in there to hold all that in place. There we go, okay. I uh, see. I see how we're working here. There we go, boom. And there we go. Get that snug. Snug, snug, snug. There we go, boom. Oops, that came undone a little bit. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I thought you could do that. Oh, no, nope, that screw seems like it's kind of stripped in there. Okay. Like it stripped a thread or something. Yeah, it's not, that's not gripping anymore. Nope. We have to just put a little dab of glue in there. Okay, that's fine. I think this is, I don't think this is getting incorporated into the build. Oh, no, it is actually because there's screw holes there. But we're going to be using this as like a tester for this stage. So... Okay, so what are we doing now? After that bit of confusion, we're, we're going along. We're going, we're, 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 we're making do, we're making do. We are making do here. All right, so now we are putting together this, it looks like. And that looks like it just goes like this. This is the main deflector dish support. And this gets another BP screw. And there we go. And now that we have done that, we are we are moving on to the deflector itself. So we got this piece. And we got 
This piece. No, wait, what are we doing first? No, no, we're doing this piece first. Let's do things in the right order. We're not doing this yet. We're doing this piece. And that will set. How is this oriented? Looks like this way. This doesn't seem like it has any actual orientation. Just put it in however, and that should sit where? Right there like that. Okay. Like that. And that's going to get some more BP screws. Lots of BP screws. BP screws! Oh, we got some BP screws here. Bip, bip, bip. Oh, bip, 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 bip. Bip, 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 bip. bip. Go. Get that snug. Get in there. Get, get on there. Get. There's your home. Let's go to your home. This is your home. Yep, it's your home. There you go. Now you're home. Now you're home. There you go. It's nice to be home, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got that. And now we are attaching this to the back. Like so. Okay. Okay, that's just it like that. This is getting some more. BP, beep, bump, more beep, pay screws. I need two. I need two. I already have one here. I just need two. Oh, there you go. Okay. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's staying safe. Me, I'm putting together my deflector dish. That's what I'm doing. I'll be doing lots of deflecting. Lots of, lots of deflecting with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, this seems to be a little... There's a point of tension we have to reach here. If you go too far, then one side comes up. So we just need an equal... Ah! We need an equal point of tension here. There we go. You stay there. You go here. Oops. Hey! Hey! Screw. Trying to screw me. You don't screw me. I screw you, okay? That's how this works. That is how this relationship works. Know your role. Know your role. There we go. Gonna to try to screw me. Ah! Ah, ah! Don't even. Don't even think about it. Don't even. Okay. There we go. We got that. So now. What are we doing? What are we doing? Now we're moving along. Now we're moving along all nicely like. So now we're going to be doing some wires. There's only one set of wires here. So luckily, using wire D, the D wires. So these are lights. Here are our lights. All right, wait, I'm just going to split these. Whoop. Gives a little bit more slack to work with. Okay, so what are we doing? Green, the green and yellow goes on this side. Okay, so green and yellow goes on this side. And that gets a plate that goes over it. Doesn't matter what's what. There's two of these. Doesn't matter which one is which. I don't think so. They both look the same. So cool. So we just put our lights. Right here, and that sits out like that, and keeps it in its home, and this gets another BP screw. BP screw, yeah. Waha. Okay. So I think after this, we're just gonna do uh, we're gonna do some light testing apparently, which is cool. Boom. Alrighty. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. This build is gonna be it's gonna be something. <laughs> Oops. What happened there? I don't know. 
Okay, everything's fine. I had like a little snap. I was like, nope, the light, the light bulb is where it's supposed to be. Okay, I think I just went a little too tight and I cracked the, uh, I cracked the plastic a little bit. Don't go too tight with these. Do not go too tight. Okay. Word to the wise with the trans clearance pieces. Do not go too tight with them. Because you will crack that trans clearance plastic a little bit. I think that's what happened there. Yeah, that's what happened. That's all. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. You live and you learn, peoples. You live and you learn. You know what? Let me get the screw in place right now. There we go. It's okay. Everything is a learning experience. That's what we're doing here. We are learning. We are learning our learning experience. So that will go there. That just sits right there. And we put a gap on it. Like so. And then we put a screw. And this time we're not going to tighten it too much. Just when we get that tension. We're good. There you go. That's not going anywhere. There you go. I have to do that any tighter than that. Maybe a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I gave it the most minimal turn there. And I was like... Okay. So, there we go. Okay. So we've done that. What about the blue part? Are we not putting the blue part in now? Are we not doing this yet? I guess not. Because it said nothing about the blue part. We just put in that part. So I guess we're not putting in the blue part yet? I guess we're not. Seems like we're not. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Be that way. We'll leave that there for now. So now, um, seems like now we're going to do some testing of the lights. So this is cool. We get to test out the lights. So what we can do here. What do we do here? Uh, this is just like a circuit board. How is this oriented? I don't know. Oh, here. We go. Okay. We got letters. Okay. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is going into F. What the F? How does this go in? Like, like this. Right? Yeah. So that's going in there. Like that. Am I doing this right? Oh, God. Yes. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, so that's going in there. And then we're taking this, and this is going into... D, which is here. So again, how are we orienting this? Like that. And if this works, we should get lights, I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. We have power. We have power. There we go. We got lights. It worked. Yay, it worked. <laughs> we have power. We have illumination! Yay! Okay. Let's wiggle this out ever so gently. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. That's really tight. That's really tight in there. <laughs> come on. This is where I get scared, see? Because that's way more force than I want to do on these things. Come on, there we go. <sighs> It makes me know. I'm sorry. Look, I know you guys are probably like, uh, face palm, blah, blah. Look, okay, I'm not used to doing stuff like this. This is completely out of my wheelhouse. I'm new to this, so it makes me nervous. Sorry, it makes me nervous. I know I probably have absolutely nothing to worry about, but it makes me nervous. I will get over it. That's okay. Hey, with experience comes confidence, and eventually I will have the confidence. But for now, I'm still nervous about it. But Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm new to this, but, okay, so now we can try out the, uh, all the bridge lights, and this is a lot, okay, well, I guess I have to, let me undo the, uh, twist tie, just have them all, like, tied together here, just so the wires aren't just flopping around all over the place, okay, so what are we doing here, what, what's happening, what's going on where, what, 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 I don't even know what's what, okay, hold on, <clears> hmm, <throat> Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, see it? Ha you know, see, see that I don't like it. Has them, it has them listed by their parts number instead of just going A, B, C. You know, like wouldn't that make more sense to do that? Like wires A, you're putting here. Wires B, you're putting. There. See? <sighs> okay, but we're going by the colors anyway, so it seems like the colors, color-wise, 
this is kind of an awkward situation here because this is kind of not really in a place where I can... Let me see. Okay. We're trying stuff out here. Okay, so... These are going into D. Right? Where's D? Oh, wait. I was about to put it in the wrong space. D. Okay, so he's going to D. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, they came on. Okay, they came on. Let's come on. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, but we got lights there. Uh, let's just go. Let's, let's just do them all here. We're gonna try. We're gonna try it all. We're gonna try it all out. So what's this? The do do the do 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 and the do do do. Um, where are we going? Where are these? I think. Okay, so I think these are going into B. Looks like it. Where's B? B's right here. Mm. Do, oh, I, had, I was putting it in there backwards. Must be being stupid. Doesn't help either. Okay, okay. There we go. That came on. Those lights came on. Whee! And these go into A. <laughs> Although, I, I will say this, this is, again, this is making me kind of nervous, but at the same time, I like that they're giving you the option to test out the lights as you're building. There we go, we got everything on. Can you see that? There we go. Ooh, wow, that's, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the way those shine through. Like, wow. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. So all of our lights work. Yay. Hooray for working lights. Hooray for working lights. That makes me happy. Let's get these pulled out. Okay. Oh, those are way tight. That I don't like. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, these are so tight. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that's just going to the battery. The battery box there. Okay, well, all of, our, all of our lights work. So that's good to know. It's good to know that our lights work. That makes me happy. That pleases me. That pleases me immensely. Whew. Okay. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> that was a little stressful, but we got through it. I guess we're not using this part yet. It doesn't seem like it. Because the instructions don't say anything about this part yet. So I guess we're just leaving this off to the side for now. Um, but obviously it's going to be just going right up in there at a later point in the build. I guess I'm guessing it's going to be this and that piece that goes over and then all that's going to get screwed together. So, yeah. Okay, so that part's just going to get left out for now, I believe. Because again, I see nothing about it in the instructions. I did all this stuff. All this stuff was done, all that stuff was done, that was done, that, only that centerpiece, support, lights, tested out the lights, all the lights work, that makes me happy. Okay, so I guess we are done for now, we have begun our deflector dish, and we are now done with this stage of the build, hooray! completing stages of the build <laughs> mistakes and whatnot aside we got through it we got through it so there you go oh and one more thing i forgot to show off at the uh at the top of the video here with this uh shipment of parts i got the uh i got the binder i got the binder to put our uh, our magazines in as we're done with them so i'll put issue one in here so yeah a yeah, nice picture there of the Enterprise, Star Trek Next Generation, bloody bloody, Enterprise, all that good stuff. You can see me. Hi. Yeah. Put our magazines in there as we complete the issues. So yes, we got a nice binder here. But yes. Again, we are done with this stage of the build. And if you would like your own Enterprise kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there's a playlist in the description down below as well. So you can check that out at your leisure and you can watch the ship take place, take place, take shape. That's what it's taking, taking shape before your very eyes. And uh, yeah, 
So there you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, live long and prosper, and palm in your face.